What's up, buddy? Jakey's guy here, and I am a proud owner and user of an Avermedia Live Gamer HD now. <laughs> or am I? Well, yes, I am a user, but am I proud to be using it? And, um, I'm not sure. I'm not so convinced, personally, uh, after using it for a while. Uh, now, what you're seeing on your screen right now is a uh, compilation of clips from my little test, quality test series, uh, series? Um, play session, uh, played, I don't know, four or so games with the Remington Shogun, I think one gun game as well. Just some, some clips there for you to see what it looks like, how it plays, how it feels, uh, in comparison to uh, my post-recording, uh, which is from theater mode, with Bandicam. And, as you could probably tell by the introduction, I'm, I don't know, I'm not convinced entirely that it is worthy of a £150 uh, purchase, because that is not a negligible fee. Uh, well, I guess for some people it is, but um, I don't know. Let's just go over some basic points, and I will, I will, you know, give my opinion on what I what I think of things. Number one, it came in fantastic packaging. I want to say that was uh, that was good, and uh, the installation really wasn't wasn't difficult at all. I mean, it took me a little while because uh, I am no PC fiend. Uh, opening up the box, it kind of scared me. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but once that was all done, it, it really wasn't too bad, and uh, it was fantastic. In fact, all the way up until I uh, went and recorded. Um, actually, this is my second quality test sesh. Oh, most rhymes. Um, but the first one just got lost because the program decided to uh, crash when I finished uh, recording, which you know I, I lost a nice I don't know 44 kill. I don't know. It wasn't like a postable scoreline, but it had some pretty nice moments in nice. Nice moments. Uh, missed like a, a triple C4 and some pretty good streaks with the uh, R870. So you know, yeah, it was a bit regrettable. But then I went and used it some more, and it worked, worked perfectly fine. Uh, the other thing that is kind of the only the only thing that I think is really holding it back for being from being a fantastic uh, purchase is the quality. It just doesn't quite seem as crisp. It seems a little less, uh, a, little, a little, a little desaturated. And a little uh, blurry. I don't think it uh, records at quite the same uh, bit rate. Now, I'll just throw on uh, some bandy cam, a uh, bit of comparison footage uh, for you. I don't know when when it's convenient in my timeline here, uh, so you can have a look and see. And it just doesn't quite seem as good. And as I said, for 150 pounds, there is a hell of a lot I could buy to improve my current setup. Uh, for example. I think I think I could get um, 16 gigabytes of RAM for 50, 50 pounds. So if I really wanted to, I could go all, the whole way, get a whole th what, 32 gigs uh, for uh, for 100 quid, and still have money left over to upgrade into a, uh, a graphics card, but into a graphics card. So I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna play play around with it a bit more, and uh, you know, of course, Amazon has a one month return policy. So you know, I got time. Uh, so uh, you know, expect uh, some videos in the next next while at least to be recorded with this. But uh, for the future, I'm not sold yet. Package inbound. It's hot. <laughs> 